Right now, we're all looking for a way to escape and enter a new fun world. Cue the brand new book. Christy Woodson Harvey's Feels Like Falling hits the bookshelves on Tuesday, but you have the chance to pick it up a day early. She's doing a virtual author event with Fountain Bookstore here in Richmond, Virginia. Christy, it's great to see you. Congratulations on the book coming out. Thank you so much. I'm so excited, um, but I'm so disappointed that I won't actually be with everybody in Richmond. So maybe next year we'll, we'll have to reschedule uh, an in-person event also. Well, it's incredible that we are all adapting in so many ways. As an author, you connect with your readers. You love coming out and having book events and seeing them and meeting them face to face. So this is kind of a whole new world for you. It is, as I'm sure it is, obviously, for you also. But yeah, so I usually um, have a, a new book come out every spring, or I've had one every spring for the last six years, or I guess five years, but it's my sixth book. Um, so I, I usually you know, head out on book tour for six weeks or so, and I meet you know thousands of readers during that time. Um, so it's definitely been different, but I'm surprised at how connected I've still felt to everyone doing these virtual events. You know, you really do feel sort of that connection with your readers when you see them and they can ask you questions. And um, it's just great how everyone has been so willing to adapt so quickly. And readers certainly connect with the books that you're putting out. As you mentioned, your sixth one releasing feels like falling has got to be a lot of fun to put together. What's this one about? So this one is um, more than any book I've ever written. It's really a story of friendship. It's about these two women from very different worlds, Gray and Diana, who meet on what is arguably one of the worst days of both of their lives. And so on a day when Gray could use a little good karma and Diana could use a little good luck, Instead, Gray inadvertently gets Diana fired from her job. So this is certainly not um, a good start to the relationship between these two women. Um, but even though they seem really different, it turns out they have a lot in common. And so they end up sort of forging this bond and this friendship and helping each other um, move forward into the next chapter of their lives, which I like to call happily ever after the sequel in the book. <laughs> and I think it's a great, you know, it's a great lesson because we could all use a second chance and we could all use a really good friend to help us get there. And isn't it interesting too, a story about friendship and maintaining those connections that right now that's pretty top of mind for everybody. Connecting too with a good book is always somebody's favorite thing to do, right? Sure, absolutely. And yeah, I think we are. We're all looking for connection. Um, this is certainly a story about that. I think, um, you know, there are some deeper themes in this book for sure. But I think by and large, this is, um, it's an uplifting book. It's, um, I think Publishers Weekly said it will make you believe that you can end up in a better place than where you started. So um, I, I love that because I do feel like this is an optimistic story. It's a story that, um, you know, I, I had no idea when I was writing it that, that we might need a, a sort of funny, uplifting story right now. But, um, but I'm, I'm happy about the timing because I do think it will, um, I think readers will connect with it right now more than ever. You've mentioned, you know, the, the praise and I, I noticed Parade uh, named it as one of the 20 most anticipated books of early 2020. And you're right, the timing is now to have this kind of great escape, this great read. Back to that virtual book event with Fountain um, Bookstore. This is really cool, an independent bookstore here in Richmond and, you know, turning on a dime to host this conversation. What's one of the most favorite things for you about talking with fans when you've put out a new book? Oh, I, I love hearing what they think. Uh, my favorite thing in the whole world is, you know, you spend a year writing this book and then another year putting it out. So I'm usually working on several at the same time. And um, inevitably, you know, launch day comes, the book comes out that night. I start getting emails from people. I loved the book. It was so great. When's the next one coming out? And I just, I love that. I love hearing their feedback. It keeps me writing. Um, and I love getting their questions. Um, and so this has just been so great. Um, I, I love independent bookstores. They are some of my favorite places in the world. And I think we can all agree that they're really bedrocks of our community and they need us right now too. So I think to be able to, you know, still connect with readers in that way and, um, you know, encourage them to support their local bookstore. Um, I think it's, I think it's going to be a really good synergy and I'm glad that we're able to do it. We are too. And uh, they just celebrated independent national independent bookstore day on the 25th. So how fitting to have a great event Christy Woodson Harvey, the book is called Feels Like Falling. Thank you so much for making time with us today to talk about it. 
Oh, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see everybody at seven. Uh, I mean, at three, at three on the 27th. (laughs) Get ready at three. Don't miss it. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, Christy. We appreciate talking with you. That's going to be fantastic. We'll share all the details for that virtual book event that starts at 3 p.m. with Fountain Bookstore. Christy Woodson Harvey feels like falling. You can pick up your copy and enjoy it now. In case you missed it, it's today at 3. You have a chance to celebrate with author Christy Woodson Harvey for the pre-release of her new novel, Feels Like Falling, on Crowdfest. It's a virtual event with Fountain Bookstores. Tickets are $20, and that includes the book, shipping, and the program. For more information, you can visit fountainbookstore.com. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.